welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video we are going to see how to install mysql and uh, how to configure mysql in the uh, windows system so if you type the if you type mysql download in the search bar you will be able to see this mysql uh, this download option once you go there once you click on that one you will be able to see all these kind of uh, mysql downloads will be there from here we, are, we will be selecting mysql installer for windows this windows installer uh, we will be downloading and we will be installing that one so uh, you can choose from mysql community uh, msi installer here this is uh, architecture 86 and uh, 32 bit architecture so once we can download this one it will ask you to log in or sign up but uh, we just click on no thanks and just start my download we downloads uh, It will download the installer. Once you open that installer, yeah. So from this installer, we can able to see that uh, my server only, client only, and full, and then custom projects. So if we uh, choose server only it will only install the server but we need to have the mysql workbench as well to manage the data and to see the data to manipulate data this kind of things for the for the need uh, uh, we need to have uh, mysql workbench also so for that i am using full in this we will be able to see this uh, mysql server mysql router and documentation samples and mysql server mysql shell as well as a command prompt and once we choose that full and then click on next you will be able to see what are all the things that we are going to uh, download uh, on our computers that is mysql server 8.0.35 mysql workbench shell router documentation and samples so once you click on this uh, execute button all these things will be downloaded uh, as per uh, the installer and then it will uh, we can able to like uh, we can able to sh see the details from here uh, which uh, which doc which downloading is started and which uh, downloading uh, is as uh, going and we can see the progress here once we complete this uh, this as a hundred percent and we can able to like uh, configure it, configure all those things in our system So as you can see the downloaded uh, downloading has been completed we can move to the next steps so these are other things uh, that are ready to be installed once we click on this install button it will start the installing progress so as you can see this uh, installation also completed once we go to the next step this is asking us to configure these things uh, for the mysql server if we click on next we will be having all these uh, uh, things so here it is asking for the development computer server computer and the dedicated computer so once we choose this uh, this as a development computer so it will open the port number 3306 and then we will be having uh, this uh, name pipelines and mysql and those kind of things so i will be leaving it as a default things and then once you click on uh, next it will asking you to create uh, a strong pass encryption authentication that is okay for me and once we click on this next it is asking for to create the password so i'm giving the password as i have given the password and then uh, add user I will be having like a username, host, and db admin, and all those things. So I'm. So I will be having this. Uh, this localhost, and then username will be. I will be giving the username as. You know, and then the role I have given this administrator.
so i have given the password as well so once you choose this one and then and this is saying that password do not match So the now password has been matched and you can able to delete this one and then if we click on next we will be able to see the service name as well the MySQL it, it has to be started so once you click on I will be giving all the permissions and just kind of granting all the options as well uh, and then click on next once we execute this one we can able to see all these things uh, which are running uh, adjusting windows service and initializing databases and everything so it is also like uh, it is also uh, installed the MySQL workbench. Once this uh, configuration is completed, we can able to see all those things there. So once we see that, we can able to like connect the database with that uh, MySQL workbench, and later on I will show that in this video. So as you can see this has been completed I am clicking on finish and then the rotor is configured so once I click on this one and this I will make it as a default so that is also completed and the documentation part is also completed current service service configuration and it is asking us to provide the credentials that should be required root privileges so I am giving the name, root password so that is done and then click on next execute it will be running some uh, scripts to uh, showcase the samples sample database and those kind of things will be extracted from there but this is also completed and once we click on finish we are able to see all these uh, configurations also has been completed and this is not needed so if I click on finish the MySQL installation has been completed so it, it is opening up the uh, this thing uh, the shell here we, we are not going to work with the shell uh, we are going to use mysql workbench uh, this is also open so if we click on this localhost and we need to keep the password here and then if we want to store the password in vault we can check this box and then click ok it will showcase all these details here in the administration we can able to do all these things if you go to schemes you can able to see all the sample uh, databases will be there so you can explore all these databases uh, and tables and those kind of things so in the coming videos we will be like we will be doing integration this uh, mysql with the our own blazers or application so that's all for this video thank you